strike up Hi, this is James Devine with the Music Ed Podcast. Hey, I'd love to send you my free training, Seven Tips to Save Five Hours This Week and Every Week. If you'd like to receive that, send me an email at jamesthedivine at gmail.com. Also, if your music event needs professional development or speaker, um, get in touch with me. I'd love to help out. Enjoy the podcast. podcast where you get quick and easy tips on how to be a better band teacher. Today's episode is sponsored by Adulting 101. Why don't they teach that in school? Check out some free lessons and find out more at adulting411.net. How do you define excellence? Here's some ways that in the past I defined it, and these are the wrong ways, and then I'll share with you how I define it now. Some define success as placing in a regional competition. I once met a director who left a school in a prominent music state because he went to a competition with his band and because they got second place, they cried the entire way home and talked about how terrible they were. And his point was that they were second out of a hundred bands and they could not be proud of that because they did not get first. Well, only one band can get first. So even if you have a hundred excellent, superior, great bands, there's only going to be one that gets first. And even if you have a first, second, third place, that leaves 97 excellent, superior bands who, who didn't get a place, but who could still be very good. Think of like drum corps. When, when I go to see them, I never see a bad group, but there's someone who gets first place and Oftentimes, I agree with who got first place, but they're all great. So placing in a regional competition is not going to be what defines your excellence. Some people like to compare to how do we sound compared to the school across town. That's not always a fair assumption. Sometimes there's different monetary availability, and sometimes there's different levels of the program or the stage where the program is at. You get a director who's been somewhere 25 years and has been able to really build a program and set some great things in place versus someone who is taking over a program where they're the eighth director in seven years, like what happened to me one time. It's going to take a little bit of time to develop that into into something more than what it was. Some will define excellence as how many kids make it into all city or all state or all region band. I'm hoping to have the first one from my school. I teach at a Title I school right now. I'm hoping to have my first one make it in this year, as far as I know ever in the in the 50-year history of the school. But maybe, maybe there were some a long time ago that had made it in. But that's not how I define the excellence of my program even though I'm hoping to have that happen. So that, it goes back to the first thing we talked about. There's going to be someone who makes it in and someone who doesn't, and and there's going to be a lot of people who don't make it in. And that doesn't mean that they're not great performers or making great progress on their instrument. It's just that there's a limited number who are going in. Some people would define excellence by their rating at their festival. A one, two, three, four, or five. I once got a four at a festival. It was my first year at that school where I was the eighth director in seven years. And I really feel like they needed that that year because they were... They were not very conducive to me letting them know what music was best for them. So we finally settled on a song, and they wanted to do this song that was really difficult. And it had been the first time they had been to a festival in a while, maybe four years or more, because none of the seniors could remember going to a festival (laughs) <laughs> and I I really think I could have just counted them off at the beginning and walked off stage because that's about how they were. They were kind of um, shell-shocked and scared and nervous, and they just started playing, and nothing that I did as a director um, changed. Even though we had worked on a lot of things in class, they just went on automatic pilot, and they got a four that year. And I was actually glad that they weren't 
heartbroken that they got a four. Um, they realized then that what I was trying to tell them about the music being too hard, because that's what all three of the judges said to them. And sometimes they need to hear that from, from other people, but that the next year we got a three. And then for the next 11 years that I was there, I was there a total of 13 years, we consistently got twos with an occasional one um, rating. So they did improve. If they had gotten fours every year, I might have thought something was wrong with that um, because every band should be able to get a two if you're working on the on the right things. But that still is not how I define the excellence of my program. Here's how I define the excellence now. And I still struggle with this. It's not something that I'm perfect at, but I'm learning as I go. The thing that I think about is, am I better today than I was yesterday? And I ask my students that too. Are you better today than you were yesterday? That's how I define excellence. Are you getting better? Are you improving and moving along the spectrum on a constant, consistent basis? This episode has been sponsored by Adulting 101. Why don't they teach that in school? You can get some free lessons on um, how to change a tire and how to bake and how how to react to people by going to adulting411.net. The music and podcast where you get quick and easy tips for how to be a better band